good to bring zero or not. Okay. Well, it looks like we're about plus two down there, so that means the head's got to go up this way or down on this side here. All right. So we're gonna we're gonna leave it out on that side of the stroke, and with my rawhide mallet, I'm gonna go ahead and tap. Slightly tap on the back of here. Whoa, it's moving really that fast. Okay, let's go back to zero here. All right, let's see if we got it there. All right, that's a half a thousandth within two inch stroke. Okay. I think we can, we can live with that and the tolerances that we need on this uh, cam. Alright, double check it. Half a thousand. Alright, now we're going to start thinking about a tool bit and also how are we going to align this with that hole and know that our keyway is center to our part this way? Because that's the only other thing that we got is the depth and that key to the width. All right. It's, uh, we got it semi loose. This is the half inch shank that we're going to make the tool bit out of. This happens to be a drill bushing, and this drill bushing, let me get it clearance here okay this drill bushing actually does slide in all by itself that little lip lip right there so what we're doing is by hand we're going ahead and we're gonna position this so that that slides in there freely and then we're gonna call that located zero All right, we're gonna call that zero. We're locking down that. Knee's already locked down. All right. And we'll pull the handle out for up and down. And we'll set our two dials for zero here. And it might be just a little bit fast to run that Woodruff key cutter and I don't want to take a chance on burning it up for nothing. All right. Now what we're going to do, we got that piece of uh, coal roll, half inch, and we set up our Woodruff key cutter, a quarter inch, and we're going to make a quarter inch form tool on here, and we're going to broach that with this tool, but we need to go ahead and put a slot, and we're going to silver solder We're going to silver solder the tool bit right in there. A little torch here. We don't need much heat. All right.
Well, you can see it just wrap itself right around there. That's what you want. You want a good bond on a piece of, well, whether it be carbide or high-speed steel. And you just put a drop and then you, you you bring your heat where you want it. I mean, I I put the flux down in that groove and then press that down in there. So it was good. Now, you got to let that cool at room temperature. Otherwise, she will shatter or she'll break on you. Alright, we went ahead and we ground and cleaned up this bit, okay? Basically, I just took a little bit, made it uh, slope back slightly on the on the, the face, so to give chur uh, curl, we have a very light relief underneath on it that way, and slightly on both sides right there, so it's not going to be dragging a whole square through the whole unit. Just giving you a side view of, of it, so you can see where I've cut back there and you can see the angle on the bottom side of it and not much on the face of it there's a look at the nose of it there we go to square and tighten all of this up <clears throat> and it should be, be pretty close ready to go here now this is almost at full stroke here just verify that yep Okay, I got a feed up. It actually is touching on that far side there, but we are right on the money as far as looking center in that hole. Okay, that's looking down, and you can see the chips coming out. some cutting oil in here so that uh, we get the maximum life out of that tool bit. It looks like uh, we're doing the job there. Oh, that's too cool.
is about 90,000 so far in the depth.